you often come across someone referring to exponential growth when you know that what they are really trying to do is use a pretentious term for rapid growth. These people don't seem to understand that exponential growth is in fact painfully slow at first. It's like watching paint dry in the early parts of the timeline. Yes, it does accelerate eventually, but it takes a while. This is why there is the term exponential whiplash for how people can get caught out by the seemingly sudden onrush of rapid growth after nothing much seems to have been happening. Is exponential growth actually all that fast? And if it is fast in comparison with what other types of growth? In this video, we take a look at three different growth patterns. These could apply to financial investments, populations, economies, or technologies, amongst other examples. Given the focus of this channel, we will talk about investment value in monetary terms and see how this could grow over time. Firstly, we have linear growth. As the label suggests, a graph of investment value on the vertical axis against time on the horizontal is a straight line. The slope of the line is constant. This means that it doesn't matter where you are on the timeline, the money growth in each period is exactly the same. In finance, this is a simple interest situation. Next, exponential growth. Here, the graph of value against time is curved. The slope of the growth line is not constant. It gets steeper as time passes. The further into the timeline you are, the more money is added to the investment value with each successive period. So the money value growth accelerates, but the rate of acceleration in percentage terms is constant. We call this the constant growth rate. In finance, this is a compound interest situation. Is exponential growth the fastest rate? No, it isn't. We have just seen that an investment with exponential growth increases at a constant growth rate. The acceleration in money value happens because the constant growth rate is applied to an ever-increasing beginning-of-period investment balance. This means that there is a positive feedback loop, but this is linear. Exactly the same percentage growth rate is put back into the system in each period, regardless of where you are on the timeline. In hyperbolic growth, the amount of feedback also grows with time. In 5% exponential growth, the investment grows at 5% per period across the whole timeline. In hyperbolic growth, 5% growth in one period is followed by a higher percentage increase in the next period and an even higher growth rate in the period after that, and so on. Therefore, in hyperbolic growth, there is a double feedback loop, and the growth rate itself increases with each passing time period. So hyperbolic growth has an accelerating positive feedback loop, while in exponential growth, the feedback loop is constant. Hyperbolic growth is an issue in behavioral finance and has been used by researchers to try to explain certain irrational investment and human capital decisions. The sheer steepness of hyperbolic growth can be visualized in real life. Power station cooling towers are usually hyperbolic constructions. In conclusion, I have an unavoidably busy slide, but you can pause the video if needed to take a closer look at any of these issues. Linear growth has a constant slope with constant money growth per period. There is no acceleration in a linear growth system. In fact, the growth rate as a percentage of each period's starting value decreases with passing time. There is one zone, however, in which linear growth temporarily outpaces exponential growth, and that is in the early parts of the timeline. If you find this unconvincing, you can easily check this for yourself by calculating the future values for less than one year from today using simple and compound interest for a given annual rate. 
exponential growth is represented by a curve, with the slope increasing with the passage of time. Mathematically, this is indicated by a first derivative which is a function of t. However, the increase in slope happens at a constant rate of acceleration which we call the growth rate, and the second derivative is therefore constant. Hyperbolic growth is also curved, but is steeper than exponential growth, all else being equal. So money value growth accelerates each period just as in exponential growth, but at a faster and faster pace. Unlike exponential growth, the growth rate as a percentage also accelerates with the passage of time. This is shown mathematically by a second derivative for hyperbolic growth, which is time dependent, resulting in a double positive feedback loop. So, is hyperbolic growth then the fastest possible rate? Once again, no it is not. There is even faster growth in terms of the Ackermann function. But we will have to leave that interesting topic for a future video. Thanks very much for watching. For more videos on this and similar topics, please consider subscribing to the channel.